Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ari Novoa and today we're gonna be showing you how to do Marine Corps sock bun but in curly hair. I have a good, really good friend of mine, Raquel Garcia. She's a recruiter and she's gonna show you guys how to do it. Hey guys, my name is Raquel Garcia, like she said, and I am a Marine recruiter out of Imperial Beach, California. If you want some information about the Marine Corps and how it can help you for your future, you can feel free to contact me. And like she said, I'll be demonstrating how to do your hair, um, a Marine Corps suck one for curly hair. All right guys, stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the products and why do I use them. So let's start off with my brushes. Here I have my hairbrush. Um, I use this to brush my hair down. I use this comb to um, part my hair. And then I use this toothbrush to do the baby hairs at the end. I have this water bottle that I use to spray my hair. But before I spray my hair with the water bottle, I mix it with this um, hairspray. You know, I like to mix these two products because I don't want the gel to just be sitting on my hair. This is kind of like, a, this will create a barrier for the gel. I'm talking about the gel, this is the gel that I use. I love this one because it just keeps it, um, it holds my hair really good, but it doesn't, at the end of the day, my hair is not super tight. I can just um, take my hair out and it'll be good. And then of course I have my suck bun and I use uh, exactly five scrunchies. So I use three to tie my hair down and then I put two over the suck bun and then I just wrap the excess hair around the suck bun. And before I forget, I have the dental floss. So what I do with the floss is I use a string and I just um, collect all the excess hair and try to like bring them back to place so it can all fall together. Okay. And I like to mix the water with the spray. This is, I just put a little bit in there. And this is a conditioning mist. Like I said, it just creates that barrier and it helps me just like moisturize my hair before I start brushing it. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm spraying my hair with the mixture, with the water and the leave-in conditioner. And what this is doing is that it's gonna make it way easier for me to do my hair when it's a little damped. And I wanna get as much as the product evenly distributed throughout my hair. So I like to grab my fingers and just try to distribute it throughout my hair. And as I do that, I also like to finger detangle. I know it looks a little rough, but it's really not. This is, if I finger detangle my hair, it's better. That way it's not ripping my hair. And I just like to spray as much as I need. I don't want my hair to be super wet, just enough to where my curls start to loosen up. And I just put enough, enough product as I need. And then I like to continue to finger detangle. And also I just part my hair wherever I want the part to be. And then I just continue to detangle my hair and just um, put as much product as I need.
Once I'm done fingering detangle my hair, what I do is that I just brush my hair down and then I, I apply gel all over my hair. And once I'm done with that, I like to grab the rubber bands and just tie my hair. And as you can see, whenever I tie my hair with the rubber bands, I like to pull it a little bit because I don't want my hair to be super tight because this gives me a headache and also like, I just don't want to rip my hair. So I just like to make sure that my hair is loose so I'm not super uncomfortable the whole day. And once I do that, I put the sock bun in and what I do is you can see my hair is curly so i have to detangle my my hair well my hair is already detangled but i have to brush it down so i distribute the hair all across the suck bun and then i start to to brush it down so once i'm done brushing the hair on the suck bun and making it look nice and neat i like to put gel on there and then I like to put the two hair ties. Once I do that, I like to grab the excess hair and with my fingers, I like to make them straight because my hair's already detangled. So I'm just grabbing gel and making it straight and just placing it like around my hair, or like around the suck bun and just making it look nice and neat. And I like to use gel to, um, to make sure that it's nice and secure. The reason why I like to use the Echo Gel is because the gel is gonna hold my hair together. It's just gonna glue it together. And then uh, you see me using the, the toothbrush and I'm just brushing the, the hair to make it look nice and neat because sometimes the curls just get in the way. My hair's a little stubborn at times. So I just like to do that and then just use my fingers to make sure that the hairs are on my ears. They're nice and straight. And then I'm grabbing the floss and I'm just gonna try to collect as much hair as I can so I can make my bun look nice and tight. All right, so this is the last part and it's me fixing my baby hairs. As you can see here, you can see some bald spots on my head and that's because when I was a junior Marine, I wanted to be all super motivated and have my hair super tight and look super squared away. And what that was doing was just making me bald because since I have curly hair, I had to just brush my hair even more and I will make it super tight and just doing the part the same side all the time that just caused me to start balding and to loosen all my edges so to prevent that now I like to do my hair so I don't do it as tight anymore and I don't when I brush it I don't brush it tight either because my hair is super thin so I'm just gonna keep balding and I like to use the baby hairs to hide those ball um those bald spots and yeah that's basically it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up and thank you for watching Hey guys, so that's what works for me to do my hair. My mom used to tell me that it's not good to do your hair while it's wet, but that's what works. And if I don't wet my hair, then I'm not gonna go nowhere and it's not gonna look nice and neat how it looks right now. And I, I don't like to make it super tight because then you might lose like, you might start losing hair because you're pulling it and it might start falling off. So I'd like to stay to not pull my hair as much. And I do recommend using a product so that it can 
it could just be a layer for the for the gel like i said at the beginning and if you guys have any questions feel free to dm me or dm dm ari hey guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope they helped you out a lot if you guys have any questions comment below dm her uh, i will put her instagram page for recruiting thank you so much for watching